Hello everybody, this is Nanduram and we are from Sonu Academy. Today we are going to discuss about excretion in plants. In this lesson, we are going to discuss about the excretion and release of substance in plants. Children, you have learnt that a variety of end products are formed during the metabolism and of this nitrogenous wastes are very important. Plants do not have any specific organ to excrete this wastes. As in animals, carbon dioxide, water, ammonia and other nitrogenous wastes are also formed in plants. In the plants, carbon dioxide released during respiration is sent out through a stomata of leaves. Plants discharge the excess of water in the form of water vapor during transpiration by leaves. Due to this, the heat in the plant body is reduced. Even when leaves are absent, as in the germinating seeds, the carbon dioxide formed during respiration is released into the atmosphere. Plants have the capacity to utilize the byproducts of one metabolic activity as a raw material for another metabolic activity. For example, Oxygen released during photosynthesis is utilized for respiration and the carbon dioxide released during respiration is utilized for photosynthesis. Plants can convert nitrogen and ammonia into nitrates. However, several compounds are synthesized by the plants for their own use, especially for their defense. As plants are sessile, means they do not have the capacity to move they cannot defend from the predictors by running away. Majority of plants do not have organs for protection against the herbivores. Hence, several plants prepare chemicals and store them in their roots, leaves, seeds and even in the stem. Most of these chemicals are unpleasant to taste and hence the herbivores usually do not prefer to eat such plants. Some of the chemicals are toxic and may even kill the animal that eats them. Some of the plants secrete chemicals when injured. These chemicals seal the wound and help the plant to recover from the injury. Through the plants produce these chemicals for their use, man has to found other uses from these chemicals. Some of the plants release attractants of other organisms which will help the plants in pollination and seed dispersal or even in their nutrition. For example, plants having root nodules secrete chemicals to attract rhizobia into the surroundings of the root and form a symbiotic relationship with the rhizobium. These compounds are called secondary metabolites. The biochemical substance produced in the plants are of two types. There are primary metabolites and secondary metabolites. Food materials like carbohydrates, fats and proteins are the primary metabolites. They are alkaloids, tannins, resins, gums, latex, etc. These are some of the secondary metabolites in plants. Points to be remembered in this lesson are when carbohydrates are oxidized in plants, carbon dioxide and water are formed. The plants use carbon dioxide and water for photosynthesis. Plants can utilize nitrogen and ammonia by nitrifying them. Alkaloids, tannins, resins, gums and latex are secondary metabolic products of the plants. Excretion and release of substance in plants. Children, in this lesson, we are going to learn about food materials like carbohydrates, fats, proteins and these are the primary metabolites and they are the alkaloids, tannins, resins, gums, latex, etc. Let us see what are alkaloids. Alkaloids, these are nitrogenous byproducts and poisonous. These are stored in different parts of the plant. Some of the alkaloids are used in medicines. Common alkaloids, the plants and the part in which they occur, let us see in the given table. Quinine. It is present in cinchona plant in the part of bark. 
nicotine. It is present in tobacco plant in the part of leaves. Morphine. It is present in pepperware somniferum plant in the part of fruit. Reserpine. It is present in the Ravulfia serpentia plant in the part of root. Caffeine, it is present in the plant of coffee plant and the part of seed. Nimbin, it is present in neem plant, the parts of seeds, bark, leaves, etc. Tannins, these are carbon compounds. These are stored in different parts of a plant and are deep brown in color. Tannins are used in tining of leather and medicines. Example, cassia, acacia, etc. Resigns. This occurs mostly in gymnospirus in passages called resign passages. They are used in varnishes. Example, pinus. Gums. The plant like neem, acacia, secrete a st sticky substance called gum when the branches are cut. The gums swell absorbing water and help in the healing of cut parts of the plant. Economically, the gums are valuable being used as adhesive and binding agents in the preparation of medicines, foods, etc. Latex Latex is the milky white substance secreted by plants belonging to Euphorbiaceae and Ephokinaceae. The latex is stored in latex cells or latex vessels. From the latex of Hevia brasilens gives rubber from the rubber plant. The nitrogenous substance are also formed in the walls of pollen grains. These are the protein substance and they are enter our body. They cause allergy. Hence they are called allergens. They cause skin allergy, asthma, etc. The aromatic oils and scents occur in the leaves of lemongrass, osimum, eucalyptus, etc. Points to be remembered in this lesson are Alkaloids are nitrogenous compounds. They are poisonous. Tannins are carbon compounds. Resins are secretory substance formed in recent pages. These are found mainly in gymnosperms. Litex is a milky white or yellow liquid and present in the litex cells or passages in plants. Thank you. This is Nanduram and we are from Sono Academy.